Hi, good night, guys. Um, tonight we'll be talking about the deciduous first molar maxillary. So from this diagram, we're going to get straight into it. Now, what do you notice about the maxillary primary first molar? So the first thing you should notice about it is that it's technically going to be smaller than the maxillary permanent molar, for well, the first molar. So we're going to look at the buccal aspect really quickly. So the mesodiscal diameter at the occlusal, so well, the, from the buccal aspect, if you if you measure from the contact area seen here, is actually about two millimeters larger or wider than the mesodiscal diameter at the cervix of the tooth. So you have this convergence to the cervical line from the contact areas. Now from the buccal surface, it's noted that the buccal surface of the primary maxillary first molar is actually one of a smooth surface and of note the maxillary deciduous first molar is smaller than the second maxillary molar. You see one, two, three roots. Now from this you can note that the mesial root is actually shorter than the, sorry the distal root is shorter than the mesial root. This is the, the lingual root. So the Buccal aspect has two roots and the mesial aspect has one root. So there's a mesial buccal, which should be this, a mesial distal, which should be this, and a lingual root, which is this. You can see it better from here from the lingual aspect. Lingual root, mesial buccal, mesial distal. So, continuing from the lingual aspect, main features you should note that the lingual surface is actually smaller than the buccal surface so there's a convergence towards the lingual surface of the tooth from this aspect you can see that the mesial lingual cusp is, is the most prominent so this is the mesial lingual cusp is most prominent it's sharpest and it's longest at this side from, and it's more prominent or noticeable from this side from the mesial aspect the cervical third is actually greater than the occlusal third so you get that nice convexity noted here. The mesolingual cusp, as mentioned before, seen here, is longer and sharper than the mesial buccal cusp. There's a pronounced convexity on the buccal cervical third seen here. The mesial buccal root and the lingual root, so this is the lingual root and this is the mesial buccal root, they are visible from the mesial aspect while the lingual root is actually hidden behind the, the mesial buccal root. So sorry, the distal buccal root is actually hidden behind the mesial buccal root. Okay. From the distal aspect, it is narrower distally than mesially. So there's a convergence of the tooth, both lingually as well as distally, as you can see from the occlusal aspect. So here's the convergence distally, and there's a con a set of con well, there is convergence mesially. You can see the large mesolingual cusp right here. So the distal buccal cusp, when you move from a distal aspect, which would be this, this is a distal buccal cusp, is longer and sharper. While the distal lingual cusp, which would be this, is not as well developed. It's actually poorly developed. The cervical line from the distal aspect may actually curve occlusally, but as from this diagram, it's almost nearly flat. As mentioned before, from the occlusal aspect, you can appreciate that the root, that the crown converges lingually and distally. It's rectang nearly rectangular in shape. If you look, you can see the mesial triangle fossa, which should be here. There's a mesial marginal range, which runs right along here. There is a buccal developmental groove, which is this. There's a distal developmental groove. And then there, finally, a triangular ridge may be present connecting the mesolingual cusp, which is this, to the distal buccal cusp, which is this. And this will produce an oblique ridge. And this actually occurs also in the permanent maxillary first molar. Now, the textbook that I use is actually the Wheelers, and they stated, or they should, I should say, they found it necessary to point out that the distal marginal ridge is actually less developed than the mesial marginal ridge. So just wanted to point that out. 
Hope these quick tips help. Um, keep subscribing to my channel. Thanks.